A-E-W. A-E-W. Hey, it's Wrestling Hero Figs. We have the brand new A-E-W Supreme Malachi Black and Kenny Omega available at ringside. Hit the link in the description below. Discount code HERO is going to save you 10% on all of it, man. Look at that. Interchangeable parts, bottoms, tops, masks. You got it. We're going to cover it all right here in this video, you guys. Full figure unboxing and unveiling happening right now with your boy, Malachi Black. Look at this, you guys. This is nice. Now, my biggest question of it all, though, is like, how the hell do you take these boxes apart accordingly, man? And piece them back together. Like, once you open this figure out of the box, this man ain't going back in. I mean, he's going back in, but in pieces. Now, Kenny Omega, check this out. One of my favorite things about it, too, is the backdrop. If you do look at it, if you guys never picked up the entrance stage, you're going to get that treatment right here with your boy, Kenny. Look at that. Posing on you. Wonged winged angel happening right there with all the looks. Smirk laughing man don't care title champ right here coming up and bringing all that kenny omega series to love it and uh, if you guys didn't see the first series we had your boy was no it was cody rhodes and then uh baker that's right it was Britt baker this go around though we got your kenny omega coming up here in chicago illinois matter of fact i was there you guys so if you guys were curious like yo WHF, were you there? You damn skip. And we're definitely going to be here once we get these out of the box. Let's check these out. Here we have both figures out of the packaging and the accessories, you guys. I mean, I feel like we could spend here a good solid 10 to 15 minutes covering all the alternative options that you do get with these two. I also do want to do some comparisons. I want to check out the very first Supreme as to how he lines up alongside Kenny right there and Malachi. Oh, you guys, these two are looking so damn cool. Now for Kenny, you're going to get the AEW titles we did mention. You're going to get three interchangeable head scans and all. You're going to get more of like an angry look, a laughing smirk face, and then we got the Dirty Sanchez, man. You guys love that Dirty Sanchez, so you guys are going to get it. Now, interchangeable tights, you will get these solid blue ones, which, as you guys can see with the translucent plastic, they actually look pretty damn nice, you guys. I like the blue mixing in with the white right there, the way that it's all clashing together with the knee pads and the kick pads on the back end. You can actually see it real well, too, with the translucent plastic. Interchangeable hands, you're going to get mic open, closed fist, full-on open, and you're also going to get the AEW title. Now, for Malachi, you're going to get longer shorts. So if you guys were curious, like, bro, are we going to get that covered? Well, not on the figure itself. He's got the long or the, the smaller tights. On this one right here, check this out, you guys. You're getting the black knee pads with all that studded pattern design on there, all the tattoos on the bottom end. And you also got that Scrubby McScrub entrance vest, you guys. I actually like it, man. I don't know if, which one is more of a toss-up between who's going to come out ahead as far as the dub. But I feel like that cloth one should definitely give it a run for its money. Not for the head scan. You are going to get the mask. You're actually going to get two masks, and you're going to get two close fists right there. Now, you're going to get three unmasked. You're going to get a happy one. You're going to get an angry one. And you're going to get a serious one. And you're also going to get an additional cloth goods with it all. Now, Kenny Omega, let's check this man out right here because I want to see right here what the very first Supreme Kenny is bringing. Now, let's see. On the original scan of the figure, I can't say I necessarily agree with it, man. I feel like the interchangeable ones are definitely doing one up as opposed to one that's on the figure. Now, for the jacket, you're going to get some great coverage with this, you guys. I mean, look at this. This solid rubber, yeah, it's going to limit you, but at the same time, I feel like it's going to do a lot for you. I like the gray line work that does bring the whole jacket together with the bottom end. You can see the boots real well, and as far as the interchanging options on these figures, fairly simple. All you got to do is pop it off, pop it on. You are getting the same Kenny Omega torso, which I feel like for the WWE, the uh, Ultimate Edition, even though it might be the same character, I like the fact that they changed the torso. They kept the traditional right here with this last one. A quick side-by-side -side comparison. You can see they are utilizing the exact same torso. So a little bit of a letdown, but nonetheless, we got to see what's good right there with the tights. Come on, Kenny. Let's see them tights. Let's pop these off. Sir, if you don't mind, I want you to go ahead and show me in detail right here these figure accessories because Kenny Omega's jacket, oh, yeah. 
It be popping off like your boy Cody saying, yeah, I got two figures. One in AEW, one in WWE, and Kenny Omega wondering what the hell I was doing while I took off his jacket. Well, sometimes you got to go behind the scenes, buddy boy. You can see that the tights right here. This is kind of almost giving you that what was it the page yeah he kind of had something similar going on matter of fact a little fix ski up ski i know it wouldn't be like identical and exact like but still i think that would look pretty damn cool man i do like the tights you can see all of that gold right there right underneath the white the black right there mixing it real well and i like the blue hair i like the little touch that they did incorporate you can see the interchangeable hands right there with the one-winged angel pose he's already ready man he's locking you in he's like do it buddy do it boom now before i do interchange these i definitely want to show you the malachi black because i want to interchange those parts as well on the figure now check this out you guys here is the original mask that you get with the figure and i love it i like the eyes i like the headpiece now this one right here i don't believe it's removable no it's actually adhered to the actual scan i mean it looks like it's removable i'm sure you could remove it but you definitely i don't know what you would get underneath there i feel like you would still get malachi black but I feel like you would get a lot of unpainted, or unpainted finished pieces right behind the mask. The eyes, you guys, this thing is gnarly, bro. I love it. The fabric goods landing in real strong right here with it. Now, as far as the tattoos, you guys, all the tattoo coverage, it's going to get covered right now. Now, keep in mind, at least for the AEW series, this is the very first time that we are getting Malachi Black. We got him in Mattel, so as far as the additional tattoos, I feel like you're going to get a little bit more. Now, one thing I got to point out is that when you do pull back the torso, you will see the discontinuation of the tattoo. So if you guys are curious, like, bro, how does that come out if you pop it up? Well, if you pop it up, it ain't coming good. <laughs> I feel like they could have definitely added it. We've seen it before where they do continue with the tattoos. I want to see the back piece. So when you push it forward, at least on the back piece, I would say you get quite a bit more action right there with the end work as opposed to the front end. On the back, you can see that shark coming out of the water, dude. It's like jaws all over again. And Malachi Black bringing the damn heat, you guys. This figure, I got to say, really damn cool, man. Check out the tats on the right side. You can see all the paint apps being brought in right here on the right side. Matter of fact, we'll pull this off so you guys can see it. Look at that, you guys. This thing, Tanya, a thing of beauty without a shadow of a doubt. Now, the solid black tights, you can interchange them with. So if you guys weren't feeling like a tight kind of night, well, guess what? You got them shorts, man. So again, I'm going to go ahead and swap that out for you guys so you guys can get a little bit more detail. Plus the entrance piece. I feel like we got to do that up without a shadow of a doubt. You want to do it, Kenny? Let's do it. Hold on. I got to chuck it at it. Three, two, one. Chuck it. Yeah. All right. Let's see how it turned out. Let's shake it off and bring it up to frame and see if the interchanging look looks a little bit better well, i'll tell you both looks work real well dude i like both i don't care if you're talking about the fabric goods obviously fabric goods but i do think that as far as like detail i do think that this rubber one is bringing quite a bit more you guys check out the trunks you can actually utilize these trunks on different characters so again big ski up skis man if you guys enjoy those let me know and i feel like these black knee pads with the kick pad combo mix this is bringing a little of that ww tradition love to it all now the interchangeable hand i did want to go with the unmasked one that way you could at least see like an in-ring look with it and i feel like both work real well man i feel like whether it's like the longhorn short horn kenny omega how good you looking well i think this one looks pretty good man blue tights with the mix of the white love it love the green this actually brings a little Crash Holly, or not Crash Holly, but uh, Bob Holly look back to it all, man. If anybody watched WWE back in the late 80s, early 90s, you guys know exactly where we're going with it, man. Kenny Omega, what do you think? I'm telling you, this scan right here, best one out of the four. I really like the color mixed in right there in the hair. And I just really like these two figures, man. I got to give both of them a 9-7. I feel like Malachi Black is going to bring a little extra with a 9-8. Ranking number one without a doubt. I got to go with him. Cody brought pretty good stuff. I mean, you can see right there alongside with them. It will look really nice on the figgy shelf. Obviously not on the AEW because the man has gone a you know WWE. But nonetheless, I do think that these two right here definitely needed these figures in the supreme collection give me your thoughts let me know how you guys feel about kenny let me know how you feel about malachi black and let me know if cody rhodes 
He walked away right here with the dub right here as a supreme figure out of these two. I don't know, man. It's a tough choice. Let me know in the comments. I want to thank you guys for watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And we'll see you on the next one. Yeah!